Hey guys, just a quick heads up. This video is about insulin. Um, just read the description for more details. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. Okay, insulin. The good thing about insulin. It could be good or bad. It could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Um, why do you need insulin? First of all, you have to understand how your blood sugar works. Your blood doesn't like having a high sugar, you know, sugar level. When you eat candy bars or fast digesting carbs like rice, white rice or regular pasta and things like that, things that are high in sugar, high in carbs and no fiber, they digest so fast that they will, you know, they just release into your bloodstream, you know, like almost with almost no effort. So instead of having slow, you know, sugar slowly going into your muscles, you end up having this flood of sugar going into your blood, which is bad. So your body sends in Mr. Insulin. What does insulin does? The insulin pretty much just takes the sugar from your blood and shuttles it, for example, to your muscles. You know, that's most, one of the places where your your body sends insulin to. Your body stores energy at. For example, after a workout, when your glycogen stores are completely wiped out, empty, you have no energy in your muscles or whatever. If you eat fast digesting carbs, which is the only way I suggest anyone to eat fast digesting carbs is after a workout when your blood sugar is low. What insulin does is it'll take that sugar and they'll send it straight to your muscles, you know. That's the good thing about it, and it, it promotes growth and, and things like that, faster recovery time. Now, the bad thing about insulin, because I know you're thinking, well, that's awesome, you know, like, insulin is, you know, doing a great thing at replenishing my glycogen stores. But the bad thing about insulin is your body's primary source of energy is carbs. Your body hates burning fat, you know. Um, when your body burns fat, it has to be a last resort. When you have no carbs, no sugar in your, in your, in your blood, no glycogen stores, your body starts burning fast. The last result, your body hates doing that. When you take in carbs, which is a new source of energy, insulin goes ahead and signals to the body and tells the body, all right, we have a new source of energy. No need to burn fat. Let's start storing it. I mean, it's common sense. If you have a new source of energy, why keep using the, you know, the last resort? So your body goes against your mindset, because I'm guessing you probably want to burn fat, and your body actually starts storing fat when insulin is released. That's why I only consider guys to sp only spike your insulin after a workout because that's the only time that you actually need sugar to quickly quickly go into your blood and back into your muscles to replenish those glycogen stores uh, another thing about insulin that's that's pretty much why bodybuilders inject themselves with with insulin you know people that take steroids and that take insulin is because you know they you know they go through like a one hour workout the glycogen stores are empty which is a bad thing and i'll make a video for that about glycogen stores so they, you know, they eat carbs and they inject themselves with insulin to shuttle that stuff, you know, to the muscles immediately, which I don't advise anyone to do. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about insulin. I'm gonna put the rest of the details in the description box. I don't wanna go on too much and make this video too long. Just ask me your questions. I'll do the research for you. I have nothing to do. I'm on for the next couple of days. Take care.